all the other girls in my school were really short compared to me and really small compared to me. And I felt like the biggest weirdo, like all the time, because I would go in the, the crowded hallways at school and like literally everyone was here, you know? And I just felt like this like giraffe, like yeah. head <laughs> poking out of the sea of like, you know, actual kid looking kids. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so I like, I always felt really awkward and weird. Um, but when I started going to New York and modeling and meeting other models who are my age and my height and my size and beautiful and everyone that I was working with was like, you're so beautiful. We absolutely love everything about you. You're perfect. You know, I started to see myself in a whole brand new way yeah. that I, before I started modeling, I never really had that permission to see myself that way. But could you try and explain to me how it is as a girl? like as a young girl, and then uh, how, how, how does that feel if, you're not, if you don't look like... Uh... Being, being a 13-year-old girl and being any different than what's considered like normal or cool is really hard, like really hard. You know, I would spend like all day every day just like wondering why, like why am I tall? Why am I this big? Why do I have all this hair? Like why am I so much different than everyone else, you know? And just like wishing that I would like, you know, somehow just fit in suddenly. Um, it's hard, it's really hard being, being a little bit different than the other kids growing up. Um, before I started modeling, I only saw the fact that I was taller and bigger than every other girl I knew. And it made me feel really bad all the time. Like I would always, um, I would just always wish I could be smaller. You know, like I would see other girls at school and their boyfriends would like pick them up and like they'd like sit on their shoulders and like they'd go to concerts and like have to give their girlfriends piggyback rides and I was like if any guy my age tried to pick me up like I would break his back yeah. <laughs> you know like and it just always I was always like why do they get to have that and I don't you know um, and then after like I said after I started meeting people in the fashion industry and meeting other plus size models um, and learning that like it's totally okay to be different than everyone else and still be able to find your own beauty in that mm -hmm. difference, you know, like, and then I finally started to learn that like, yeah, I'm bigger and I'm taller, but I have these amazing curves that no one else has yet. And that's really special about me and that's really cool about me. It's a long journey to really fully like accept and love yourself the way that you are. Um, especially if you're in an environment where you are totally different than everyone around you and you really stick out like that's that's where I come from you know and I know how hard that is um, and I think everyone's journey is a little bit different and so it can take a lot of time and um, my best advice is just you know whatever it is that's different about you that you feel like you should change because everyone else has it or everyone else doesn't have this and you're the only one that does like that's what makes you special like that thing that's making you different those characteristics that are making you stick out that are making you different those are making you unique and there's like nothing in the world more beautiful and amazing than being the only you you know